so much fun playing uh, Bloodborne yesterday, so why don't we go ahead and do it again? Wouldn't that be lovely? But this time, I'm not going to be dead tired because in like 30 minutes or so, my energy drink will take full effect. Which will be nice, because then I won't have to freaking be like, Hey guys, what's going on? Because I'm in the process of falling asleep. Mostly because whenever I uh, start streaming, just because I have to go to work at like 1 o'clock, and I normally wake up around 9, I try to stream almost immediately when I wake up. And sometimes that doesn't really work out too well for me. Hmm. What were we doing? Uh, let's go ahead and just go through Yargle. Go through Yargle, and then uh, we can fight probably the One Reborn and start into the next area. And then we can go back and do the the other places as we level up, because... Otherwise, we uh, could potentially die a lot. And I'd rather avoid that, if at all possible. Nope. Don't you do that. Oh, here are them bullets. Interesting how his stuff stayed there, but his body fell off. Hmm. Oh no, his body didn't fall off. His body disappeared because he was a part of the people who freaking stay alive or whatever. Yeah, don't bark at me, you asshole dog. Stop it! Come on! <laughs> okay. I swear. I promise I am good at this game. It just takes me a little bit to actually get into it. <laughs> Plus I'm playing it on a bigger screen than I'm used to. Maybe that affects it. Or maybe I just suck. Who knows? Let's go. Um, maybe I should try to upgrade my uh, my sword before I continue on any further. Because maybe that's the problem. Or maybe I need to level up more. I don't know. Don't ask me stuff. Or maybe I'm not rolling enough. Ow. I hate these dogs. The freaking dogs are the worst. Legit, the dogs are the absolute worst thing to fight in this game. Don't ask me why they suck so much, but they do, and I don't like it. I never did anything involving a new title or anything, because I guess I just wanted to get started. <laughs> But I guess we could just keep it with the same title since it's all still within Bloodborne. <laughs> I need to find some better games to play so I can actually get popular with this shit. Or some games that not a lot of big people are playing, but a lot of a lot of people are watching. Because then I could get started on that, and then do all that kind of stuff, and then potentially get popular. Because I want to make this a job, if at all possible. But that involves um, being decent at it. <laughs> and developing my style. Currently... I am very freeform, and I just do stuff because I want to do it. I don't know if that'll be actually very good to do.
I guess people like my freeform style. And like, like the fact that I'm playing games that a lot of other people don't really play. Oh, hello. I mean, you can fight me if you want. Come on. And make sure I don't stay too far away, because then I'll use this cannon. And that'll probably kill me instantly. Back up. Alright, no more trying to parry this dude. We're just gonna fight him the regular way. By blocking him in a corner and just beating the hell out of him. <laughs> Mexican standoff here. <laughs> Whoa, hello! Hello! Your friend decided to join us. <laughs> uh, I am going to pull a Sith and run away. <laughs> you want to come after me? I'll fight you. I won't fight your friend, though. Oh, your friend's coming. I don't like your friend. Tell him to go away. This is a date between us. Ow, rude. Rude with the rude of the rude. I don't like it. Stop it. Get out of here. Woo. Woo. Let me get around you. Damn it, your friend's here. I don't like your friend. I keep telling you this. We don't talk. I don't like him. Okay. Now that I'm okay, I'm alive. I'm feeling fresh and free and fancy and fun. Let's go fight him. Oh, Professor Cannon. Where'd you go? Oh, hi. Um, do you require assistance? Uh, I don't think I was supposed to see that. <laughs> Where the hell did Professor Cannon go? Uh, sir? What the hell happened? <laughs> I mean, I can tell he didn't die. Oh, hello. Looks like it's just us here. Why don't we, uh... Have some fun. Oh shit. No. No. I could have misread him, but I was too busy trying to make sure he wouldn't hit me. Don't hit me! I'm gentle! As <laughs> I rip out your freaking jawbones. <laughs> <clears throat> Twin Bloodstone Shards, yay! Upgrading, woohoo! <clears throat> Ever have those times where it's just like, you actually hear the correct sound of your voice and then you're like, I don't like this, but I have to talk all the time or else people will get bored. Oh, hello. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you for joining me today. One of my notes was rated fine. Thank you for rating my shit. It's appreciated. It gives me shit. It gives me stuff. Where the hell? Wait. 
You must accept healing church, therefore a special item is effective. Uh, that's where she was, but where is she now? Oh, and I'm actually going to put on the thing that I uh, I got from that dude. And then I'll put Shake Off Cape over here. And then now, we, now you guys can see what it looks like. I don't know. I like that. Don't ask me. Don't ask me why. I just do. And don't judge me. I'm a fragile little boy. Mad Men Toro surreptitiously in rituals to beckon the moon and uncover their secrets. In other words, the people are doing stupid stuff and then making it worse for everyone else. That is pretty much what that that means. At least as far as I know. Open the door. Treat key with care. Oh, you mean the key that is not needed for the door? Where's lady? Where's lady lady? Maybe I actually had to activate the fact that she was here. And then I would be able to find her dead body. And that would involve fighting... Uh, what's his butt? Blood, Bloodstar Beast. Before I actually... Uh, go all the way through this. Hmm. Or maybe this isn't even the right place for her to show up at. Like, her dead body to show up. Oh, look! There's you. And then... Where's the lady who wants to brush my teeth? Oh, no! The lady who wants to brush my teeth is in the good world. Yeah, the good world. <laughs> I don't think there's a freaking version of this game that's actually good. Except for before the start of the game. Kind of seemed decent, but at the same time, there's always someone trying to freaking kill everyone with, like, diseases or something. And let me put you out of your misery. Misery. <clears throat> Okay, so this takes me to a boss fight that I already did. So now we can just continue on with the whole situation. Oh, so that was just like a side door to get to here. Oh, that's really annoying if I have to uh, like refight that guy just because he glitched into a wall. But those types of glitches don't actually, surprisingly, don't happen very often with this game. At least not in the playthroughs I've done. But dude, come on now. You know better than to get stuck at a freaking wall. The hell is this? There you are. Hello. <laughs> you're stuck. I'm not. Ow. Your gun could shoot through here, though. I'm not above doing it like this. You take the advantages when you can when it comes to this game.
Even though some of those advantages involve someone getting stuck in the wall. Oh, there you are. Hey, you made it out. Look at you. You were better off than your friend there. I mean, you're still gonna die. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh, sometimes I love this game, and then other times I hate it. I don't know which one this is, but let's just continue on. We don't need to worry about it anymore. Okay. Um, where to now? Is this a shortcut? Yes, it is. And now I can skip all the way to here. Using this elevator. And also I could get right there. Which I think I'm going to try to do. I don't know what good it's going to do, but let's do it anyway. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is the place. Oh, this is going to be a double shortcut. Hi, dog. I should probably actually get some blood vials before I continue on with this shortcuttiness. Because otherwise, I may run out of blood vials and then die. And dying is something of which I try to avoid as much as possible. As you can well imagine. Oh, hello. Why are you eating that man, Mr. Footass? And stick my hand up your butt. What about your spleen? You don't need that anymore, right? I don't know. Anyone who knows anatomy better than me? Is it the spleen that does the insulin? I've always wondered this. I haven't looked it up. Because I haven't had time, for the most part. <laughs> I'm too busy doing stuff I actually enjoy. Even though, I do like learning though. Anyone's like, anyone else just have that to where they just enjoy learning? Or am I just crazy? I just like knowing things. Because the more you know, the more your knowledge may actually help in the future. Like, for instance, I am actually my family's doctor just because I know a lot about, uh, a lot about the medical field. I'm never trying to convince everyone to not go to a doctor just because I'm saying stuff, because, uh, yeah, that could potentially cause some serious problems, because I am not a doctor. I don't have the instruments to even fake like I'm a doctor. Ah, look at that! That's the one reborn, right there. Shall I try to fight it upon my own merit, or should I call someone in? Um, actually, no. <laughs> We're not gonna do a boss with nine blood vials. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, I'm gonna die so bad. <laughs> and I have 37,000 souls, so no! We're not doing that. I am going to try to fight this guy, though. Hello. He's probably going to do a hell of a lot of damage to me, and I'm going to do almost nothing to him. Oh, wait. I forgot. He's a spitter. You're a spitter. Oh, hello. You're not a spitter. Don't touch me. Don't touch me with your goopy hand. Yeah, here with that goopy hand. I don't like it. Don't touch me. Eh. Okay. Hello. Come at me. Please. So we got foot ass and, and skull box. Such a weird collection of enemies in this level. We used to have the bad guy, but... But he died as soon as everything turned into uh, the dark world. Oh, the dark world. Even though technically it is, but also technically it's still within the same world frame. Even though 
It kind of reminds me of, if any of you guys have ever played Persona 3, it reminds me of the, uh, I believe they call it like the dark hour or something. Like the hour after, uh, oh, hello. Oh yeah, these are all the people who were consumed in the, in the ritual. That's creepy. You would think those are statues, but no, those used to be actual people. Trying to escape all this. But no, back to, uh, Persona. That Persona 3 game has this, um, pretty much, it almost seems like a whole separate world that happens after, uh, midnight. And, like, things you're not actually normally supposed to see show up. So it's kind of the same type of thing. Maybe it's uh, an influence for this game? I don't know. It's a, uh, I mean, it is a Japanese game, but it's like, I think it was like PS2 era. I personally like the, uh, the Persona games that are like more light and fun. Like a bunch of friends hanging out, and also simultaneously they save the world. <laughs> I don't know. I just like that better. It just fits better with me because dark games, unless the the game is done well in its darkness, I don't like it. And that game was not done well in its darkness. It was just like, oh... Freaking everyone's dying, everything is breaking, the world is exploding, and you're gonna be fighting the manifestation of death and despair. Like, uh, no. And all of your people s seem like they're just, like, not really caring too much about each other. Aside from certain other people, they just don't seem to care too much about the main character by comparison to everyone else. And I don't know. I just like the, oh, we're all friends. We all hang out. We all had something happen that brought us together. And then now we're friends forever type situation. Like from like four to uh, strikers. I don't know. Those are just more appealing to me. Because... I freaking struggled with depression. Why would I want to go through a depressing video game? Which is freaking, like... Like, this one could be considered depressing, but only if you think about it in a particular way. And you're like... Follow along with everything and feel for everyone. Then it'd be considered depressing, but... The rest of the time is just action. Just action constantly. And I find that is kind of like an escape from any sort of depress depressive feelings and stuff. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But yeah, it's just... I don't know. Anyone else who has used, like, video games and stuff like that as an escape from their depression to, like... I don't know, to like a happier time. That's been pretty much my experience with video games. It's just... <laughs> this is horrible, and no one should ever do this. I am not at all advocating for people to do this, but... Hiding from your depression? That was what I used to do. And then I confronted it, and broke it, and now it's lying dead in the corner. That was my brain! It may come back. I don't know. I don't like it. I try to avoid it. <clears throat> yeah, if you're going through, like, depression and stuff, talk to someone. I went through, like, depression and stuff, and then I, I don't know. I don't know if learning about psychology was my thing that helped me break out of it because I knew what was going on but this is something I learned from my brother who had 
a doctor tell him, oh, this is going to help you, and then it ended up making him worse and making him a slave to a pill. Don't listen to every doctor's opinion about what is good for you. Because my brother uh, had this... I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was called, but it was just this antidepressant that if you stop taking it, unless you wean yourself off of it, it will fuck you up for at least over a year. So, before just taking a uh, prescription, do your research on it. And make it, make sure you know what you're getting into. Because they like to slap you with this kind of stuff and be like, this is what you need, no matter what. And just do it. But that doesn't work. Everyone's body's different. There is no one pill fits all. You have to find what is actually going along with what you are dealing with and find the medication if you do require medication some people can just get over it by talking to friends or going through therapy but then there's the people who are dealing with a chemical imbalance in their brain that actually requires medication to actually fix they require the medication so just do your research and make sure that the side effects that you're dealing with with it are something you're you can actually handle in your daily life and if you're willing to stop it do not do like my brother did and just cut it off because that will cause a massive chemical imbalance and cause you to have like super stress and super depression for a while until the stuff is actually out of your system. Yeah, just... No matter what, the, the moral of the story is do your research. No matter what a doctor tells you, do your own research on what it is. I mean... A doctor can know a lot up to a point. Then they can actually just go for the money more than actually trying to help you. And those people are the types of doctors that you want to avoid. It's not exactly going to be the easiest thing to do, but find see if you can find a doctor that tries to help you over trying to make more money. Ow, stop it with the whip. Stop whipping me. And never take someone else's experience and expect that that's going to be your experience with anything. Alright, sir. I'm not gonna fight you right now. I'm gonna go grab my stuff. Just so that if you kill me, I will still have all of the stuff that I needed. So we're just gonna do it that way, and then I'll come back for you. Sound good? Sound good. Burning the pyre. Okay. Now... We can go back and play. Except uh, so you have me uh, trapped in a way that I don't want to go. Maybe I can get you stuck in the wall again. Like your friends. Stop it. Stop it. No, 
No, no, no, no. And <laughs> we both ended up dodging in the same direction. I like dealing with this person whenever he has the cane rather than the whip. Because that whip is it has way more range than you expect for it to have. Stop. Stop. Ow, oh, come on. Why is it always with the last little bit? Every single time. It's like, oh, you almost killed me? Let me double up on the freaking difficulty and kill you before you have the ability to react. I don't like it. Mm. Also, since I post these up on, on YouTube and everything... Anyone watching from YouTube, from the 30 minute mark, I guess, uh, my Twitch is actually in the description, so I normally stream roughly around, it's probably gonna be more varied, but right now it's around 9 o'clock, uh, uh, I believe it's CST, yeah, I'm Central Time, and then, uh, I normally stream for like two hours. So if you want to come by, visit, say hi. Enjoy enjoy my company. Then feel free. I would love the interaction. Okay. Um, please don't kill me. I have a lot of souls that I can get. I don't need this death in my life. Death of my life, I don't like it. Nope, stop it. Stop! I don't like you. <laughs> I'm gonna go tell my dad. <laughs> um, oh. Swords. Stop it with the fire. No one likes your fire. Come on. Ah. Ah. I keep telling you, stop it with the fire. I have a gun. I will hit you when you start firing. I don't like it. I'm going to stab you with many different instruments including my freaking hand if I have to yay is that the end of this guy uh, why do you keep getting up stay down oh that man's knowledge cool and now I'm gonna go up here and take out fatty McFat And also this guy. Hello, Fatty McFat. How's it going? How's the kids? Ow. Don't slap me, you asshole. And then, once I deal with Fatty McFat, which I just did, I'm going to go back to Hunter's Dream. And then I'm going to use the facilities. And then I'm going to level up. Sound good? Sound good? Okay. Sounds good. I shall return. Oh shit. I moved the the desk rather than actually moving my chair back. <laughs> but I'll be back. <laughs> 